Okay guys, this is what the room looks like when you walk into it. Over on this little section, this tiny, tiny little section is my husband's computer desk and all of his uh, fun stuff in the corner. And then the rest of the room belongs to me. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to take you through and show you a little bit of everything. And this is probably going to be super long because I'm going to show you all the things. Okay, as you walk into the room, I have two expedits. Um, one is actually the cal is it was it the calyx? Is that what it used to be called, or is that the new one? I don't remember. But the one over here on the left is the older one, and then the one over here on the right is the newer one. And then, of course, I got to show you my fun things. So that is a picture of my son uh, when he was at boot camp. This is a picture of my husband and I when we went to Punta Cana. I have a tombstone from Haunted Mansion. I have this trash can, Disney trash can I haven't put together yet. Um, so Funko Pops. I have these awesome Disney uh, canvases that were made by Melly Art. I have a goodbye from my company in Maryland, which I still need to print the photo. Um, I know that this stuff might be boring, but this, this is the kit that Brutus Monroe put together based on my scrapbooking rainbows layout. And I bought the kit even though I had everything in it already, just because I thought it was cool that they had built a kit based on my layout. Um, this right here is also something that is kind of cool. These are my glitter glazes and I just swatch them and put them up here. Those are the white ones. Can't really see them, but those are the white ones. Um, so that is there. Um, my one stock of Disney. This is my cute Hail Hydra. These bad boys are the sodas from Star Wars Land. Some Disney art, and then just a couple little fun things. So I do like to keep the fun things because that makes me happy. So like all, I have fun things in here. I could definitely put more scrapbooking supplies um, in here if I wanted to, and they are kind of taking over a little bit, some of my fun things, um, but that's just the way it is. I like the fun things. Keeping the fun things around makes me feel creative. Okay, so for this one, um, what this is is album storage, and if you saw my how getting my layouts into album videos, you kind of saw that. Um, so what I have are these right here are the albums for a 2017 Disney trip. These layouts here are 2020 layouts that I don't have albums for yet. These layouts here are extra they're like just photos of extra Disney things. So what I will do with all of my extra Disney layouts is they're they're just going to eventually, and that's what these photos are, they're just going to eventually be in albums um, so that you can just see them. Then I have the albums for um, mine and Lana's trip. Then I have this, and this is my 50 States album. So I got this album from Hobby Lobby, and then on the inside um, is all the Echo Park 50 States papers. I haven't done anything but actually put them in the book. I don't know what I'm doing with that yet. These right here are Creative Memories albums, and these are like our individual albums where they don't kind of fit into the family albums. Um, and then this is my like scrapbooking with friends album. Um, which has kind of turned into going into the chronological albums. I don't really use that one anymore. This is my daughter's cubby where she keeps extra um, coloring books and her threads. And then she's got some photos in there as well. Um, this bad boy right here. Um, this is where I keep like um, memorabilia and other things that I will probably eventually um, get to. They're actually in bags. Like this is the Medieval Times bag. This is Creative Memories from way back in Creative Memories land when I did that. Then I have 
whatever this is, bush gardens and things like that. I think that's actually the, um, the birth announcement from when I was dedicated in my, when I was a baby. So there's a lots of those kind of things in here. Baby books, samples of the kids writing, um, kids art projects, a scrapbook layout that one of the kids did. I don't know who did it. So things like that. And these are the things that I'll eventually get to. I have some t-shirts that I want to trim down to 12 by 12 and put in albums. Or maybe make a t-shirt quilt. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, these are the 2019 albums that I'm working on. Um, so we've done that one. This is just another album. It's empty right now. This is a Creative Memories Power Power Sort something photo box that has lots of old old photos in it. So if I ever run out of my chronological scrapping, I can always go back and do those. This is kind of the camera photo box as well. So I've got my Instax, some papers, um, five by seven papers. These are all photographs. <laughs> more photographs. So lots of photographs and photo paper down here in that one. Then right here, this is where I keep my Disney stuff. So this is like embellishments, um, stickers, all that kind of good thing. I also keep our Disney journal here. So this is the Disney journal and what it is, um, we started taking notes about what we did, what we ate, and everything. And what I do is every night um, at the end of the day, I just write down what we did. We wrote down what we ate, like any kind of fun experiences that happened. And then that way, like those are always there. If we ever can't remember something or I'm trying to you know, remember something for the journaling because let's face it, I don't scrapbook my Disney albums right away. I still have the 2017 trip that's in there. And then this is Disney papers and stickers and um, trip memorabilia in pockets. Then this one right here, this is where I keep my photos and what I am scrapbooking. So I do have them sorted, sorted by date. And not only are these photos, but also um, memorabilia things. I have other things that are sorted in um, old freckled fawn pockets, and then even more. So this actually probably, I need to go through it again and straighten it up. There's like marine stuff over there. So every once in a while, I would say probably every month and a half or so, I go through and clean this up and straighten it out and, and just decide, oh, why am I hanging on to that? I don't want to scrapbook with that. But that is what that is going on there. This next one down here, more albums. This is mine and Lana's Disney trip. And I also have um, the start of my stamps here. Now my stamps kind of explode all through here. And I haven't really come up with a permanent solution for the way I want to store them. Um, I need to figure that out though, for sure. So for this, this stamp set, um, these are like shapes, um, just regular old kind of shapes, like generic things. And that's just the way I you know, I see them. They're just kind of like generic shape stuff that I can use for anything. Um, I wish that the stamp companies all sorted their stamps in the same way, like package them all in the same way, because that would make it a lot easier for me. But you know, that's the way it is. Um, this over here, so this is where I kind of keep tool and um, like kind of fabricy fiber stuff burlap ribbon. Magic Mesh is down there at the bottom. I don't know if you guys remember Magic Mesh, but that's there. Um, this is Christmas in here. So lots of Christmas things going on there. And that's like all the embellishments and things like that. And then this is my Christmas 
um, paper, so I have the papers and the stickers and any chipboard um, numbers that I want to use. Like I picked up these silver numbers at Tuesday morning because I'm pretty sure I want to do silver in my album this year. Um, this right here, this is all of my patriotic things um, for Alex's military albums. So I'll get this there. Then I will, sorry guys, I'm got to stand up. My legs are kind of numb. <laughs> okay, so I'll start over here on this um, corner. So this is just kind of a place. There's nothing spectacular about it. Um, I have notebooks, um, traveler's notebooks, which I still haven't figured out what I'm going to use it for. That's a picture of my husband when he was 16. Um, got just some fun pens and things that I just want to keep, like a Disney World pen. This one's a Gina K pen. Um, this pen right here is from Virgin uh, Galactic. So just, just fun pens, like this one lights up. <laughs> so just fun things that I just like and I want to keep. Um, and then this is a wine glass that was made by uh, my friends Crystal and Amber. And they're just like little fun, cute things in here. Um, lot, lots of just like memories and fun things attached to that. And then a dollar. I don't know why the dollar's there, but I, I always feel like I always have a dollar. I always have money if that's there. Um, this is where I keep my kits. So this is my How to Kill a Kit with Style. This is my For the Love of Homemade Kits. And then this back here, this is my um, Using the Wrong Collection, which I do with uh, Paper House. And then that is a sneak peek of what I am going to be basing my next uh, Kill a Kit with Style on. This are These are just markers, so these are just fine liners. These are zigs, and these bad boys are old, and half of them um, I've used and they've dried up. Um, but I love them, and I just can't bear to part with them yet. Um, these are um, Real Brush Friends from Arteza. And then back there, I have crayons. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is how I store my stencils. So my stencils are in a 12 by 12 album. I'll just bring you over to my desk. And then they each are in page protectors. So I have 8.5 by 11. I also have page protectors I sized. Um, and then I use this size page protector, the three by four for the little guys. And then these Project Life um, six by six page protectors for the six by sixes. And then of course, back here, the 12 by 12s are 12 by 12. So these are all of other people's stencils. And then the other mm -hmm. album um, is my stencil. I think I'm gonna just leave that there for right now. So these will, um, this is what holds the stencils that I have designed and cut out. And um, once I, once I can be legal, guys, it's going to go up. I'm just waiting on um, my final things to come through. Um, these are um, plastic kind of dividers. These are from close to my heart. And this is what I use to hold the layouts that I've created during the month. So these are all layouts that were made in June. Um, this is also a layout made in June. It's my stories by the month. And then I have um, some backgrounds and things that I've made here um, that I haven't done anything yet. So these are times where, um, this I was just showing you how to um, make rainbows in one of the Secret Not Secret Kit Club parties. Um, but sometimes, um, or a layout that was started and never finished, or a background started and never finished, um, and that's what these are just, they're just pre-made backgrounds that I just love and I haven't done anything with them yet. This is a sheet of wood veneer paper that I've literally had for 10 years and I keep saying that I'm going to do something with it, but I love it so much. I just love having the sheet of wood paper. So let's be honest, I'm probably just going to keep it as a sheet of wood paper. Then we are going to, maybe if I spun the light around, it would be a little bit better. Ooh. Okay, maybe that is a little bit better. So these are stamps as well. And like I said, I've got to figure out what my 
sorting situation is going to be because this, this is not working for me. Um, but these are like words. Uh, then I have like holidays, florals, letters like this. I love these. Okay. These things right here, these are fridge bins from interdesign and I love them. They, as you can see, I've got a bunch of them and I love them and I keep them right off the edge of my thing. So if I put them on the shelf like this, it never fails. They pop back behind the shelf. So these little legs right here are on the back side, and that doesn't work for me. So I just kind of let them hang off in that way. I can slide them real easily, but these are, I mean, there's a lot of stamps in here guys. And these are like Disney stamps, um, background stamps. There's just a lot of stamps in here and I just don't have a good sorting situation yet. So I need to figure that out. Down here on this one, these are just um, little like holder things. This is this is actually chipboard that you create. Um, it's all different letters and letter sizes. Then I have various page protectors. These are all not just Project Life page protectors, but I keep them in the boxes. This is my recipe album that I haven't done a thing with. Um, I created four recipe albums for Christmas. Uh, last year and I was going to do my own and I haven't done it yet. Um, this is how I store my six by eight papers and page protectors. Then um, this is from when I went to the D23 Expo. This, this right here, this bag is full of cruise um, papers and embellishments because Chloe wanted to go on a cruise for her graduation and we do a big trip or we, we offered to do a big trip or pay for their first semester at college. And we thought we were going to do a Disney cruise, but she decided she wanted to go to college early and do that. Um, then I have some pre-made pages here and like some padded envelopes because I didn't know where to, else to stick them. Um, then down here, this is where all of my pocket cards live. Um, this is another fridge bin. So my four by six cards and like funky shapes go there. This is where I do all my stories by the month. So these are the months I still have to do. And then these are the leftovers and then the leftover stamps, which I will be selling. Um, and then these are my three by four cards. And then these are just some page protectors that I'll be using to wrap up my 2018 stories by the month. Now this right here, I love, I love these bins guys, seriously. These are like my favorite bins in the world. So what I do is I have all of my six by 12 stickers and things here. So I have thickers all through here. And then when you get down, you have other brands. And then I have like borders and then my flat stickers. And these are sorted by um, brand as well. There's some October afternoon. So all of these, and it's really easy for me to go through and flip and see what I have. Oh, that one's out of order. Now this happens a lot where things just happen to go out of order. And honestly, I like, and then I have the chipboard stuff back here. I, I like flipping through my things. I like touching my stuff. So every, every so often I will just grab one of these bins, take it to my desk and sort through and combine uh, to get rid of packaging and um, just make it nice. Like this one, this one, um, this Wonder Thickers, I had two sets of these. So see, I combine them down and put them into one. Um, just because less packaging means I can have more room for products. Um, and then the same kind of thing is going on with this one. So I just have stickers and embellishments. And this one I'm probably going to be redoing sooner rather than later. Um, just because everything's mixed up again. And that's just because I'm lazy when I put my stuff away. Like usually my words are together. My chipboards are together. The flat stickers are together. Like I've got, I've got things all mixed up over here. Flat stickers, I have hearts and stars that are together. Puffy stickers are together. 
Um, and then like sticker books. Back here, washies. And then these are the 12 by 12 sticker sheets. And these are sorted by manufacturer too. So I have like the close to my heart ones. I have some basic gray, some simple stories, more simple stories. These are simple stories, Bella Boulevard, um, Jelly Bean Soup. Oh, that paper house should not be there. Paper house should be with the paper house. Um, and then the like Cartabella and Echo Park. And oh, that's close to my heart too. See what I mean? I'm a little bit messy, so this will probably have to be done. Then this is where I keep the 12 by 12 chipboard in the back. And then these little pockets um, back here are just other little stickers and embellishment things that I don't want to part with yet, but I don't know if I'm actually going to use them. So that one is there. And then we already talked about my kits in this one. Um, these two are letter stickers. So um, these are thickers and the like, and these are sorted um, by color. So I have like multicolor ones up at the front and then rainbow order. Um, and I say thickers and the like because they're not all, they're not all thickers in here. There's also some other brands, um, but they are in color order. And then what I do with my thickers, once they are opened, what I do is I take scissors and I trim up this line right here so that I can easily slip these suckers in and out and I keep them stored on their side. So those are in rainbow order. And then these are the white, black, and gold ones up here. And then these are my letter stickers. And I these are not stickers, but I put them there because this is where my tiled stickers are. So I have like all the tiled letter stickers here, lots of tiled ones, more tiled like the October afternoons. Um, just more puffy stickers, more flat stickers. They're all through here. Like, and then 12 by 12 sticker sheets with letters, uh, creative memories, title topias. <laughs> um, and then some really old Tim Holtz grunge boards. So those are all my letter stickers. Um, and then over here on this one, um, Two different things. So this is this is my paper house stash, and I am on the paper house design team, um, and I keep this separate just because I do create videos with paper house products. Um, so I just want to make sure that I have them easily accessible. Um, these are envelopes and card panels, and then. Um, card base car size cardstock that I never, I never make cards with this. Um, some Upo papers in here too. Um, these are like watercolor panels. So these, I, I end up using these for photo mats. Um, and then some like specialty papers. There's some vellum and some glitter. These are all like cardstock size or card size though. And I just keep these here because they're easily accessible. And I just, grab them and use them for photo mats. I do use my envelopes when I make cards, but I don't really, I don't really keep a lot of cards that I make. And actually my pre-made cards live behind there, which is one, one up. Okay, I'm gonna squat down again. So this, this right here, a um, couple things. This is where I keep my Bible journaling stuff, even though I haven't picked up Bible journaling yet. <laughs> um, these are calendars, which will be the title pages of the 2019 albums. This is a creativation uh, class that I did not finish. Um, this is from an online class that I just, I've just got to finish um, the last layout and then I'm going to de-stash it and put it into my stash. Um, these are card stocks that Brutus Monroe sells. And I do keep those separate because I'm on the Brutus Monroe team and I do need to know if I'm using Brutus Monroe products. Um, this is watercolor, um, Upo, and then shrink film from Brutus Monroe. That should be on the Brutus Monroe side. Um, I have my cream colored cardstock, my khaki colored cardstocks, um, my black cardstock, and then white cardstock here. Um, and then this is also how I store 
uh, cut files once they're cut out. I just have them in these page protectors with a jump ring and they're on some they're on some green papers like some neon green papers and I just slide them in that way I can just pull this bad boy out and look when I want to use a pre-made cut file. Now this is the paper. See, I didn't even um, vacuum for you guys. So this is my paper and it is these two right here. And for the most part, it's sorted by manufacturer in alphabetical order. Now I do have some paper pads that um, don't really fit because American Crafts is right here. Um, but I have all of these American Crafts paper pads. Um, well, this is pink paisley, but these and these like Chamel paper pads right here that don't fit in this American Crafts thing. Now I could, I could put them in another one of these plastic things and have my paper go over to here, but I don't want to do that. I just want to keep it like this and I'm making an effort to get through the paper pads. So these are the papers that I have and they are in chronological order or not chronological alphabetical order. So I have like old things like Chatterbox, um, Close to My Heart, um, Fancy Pants, like everything, Jilly Bean Soup. This is all my Echo Park and Cartabella. Then we have like Pink Fresh and Photo Play and Cosmo Cricket, My Mind's Eye, Making Memories, simple stories and recollections. These are all kind of like specialty paper. So burlap paper, um, glitter paper, gold paper, acetate, plenty of acetate in here. Look at that. These great, some of these are Hambly, um, 12 by 12 vellum. I have some fuse cardstock, um, some cardstock that can be used with mists. And then like some acetate -y type things. Like all that stuff is in this one. Um, and then this one is my leftover, um, I want to say like my leftover super thin paper. So these are the papers that I kept um, that are like super thin papers. And I'm probably going to go through these and put these in where they belong um, soon as well. Um, just because you know, I, I want to put them all in order. And this is, this is from like 2003. So some of these, some of these are really, really old. Um, and then this is my paper house. Um, all of my paper house paper and paper pads are in here because like I said, I am on the design team. So when I need to do a paper house layout, I want to, I don't want to have to search through all of these. I just want to be able to grab my paper house and go. So that is the paper. Now I'll move over to the other side with the other ones. Okay, so I'm starting on the other side and um, this is going to be this side right here. So um, we're gonna start with the top. Um, I have my Mink, my Gemini, my Cricut. These are my pin boards that still have to go up on the wall. These are my Disney pins and those are my crafty pins. So those still have to go up here on the wall um, next to some of my Disney art, but that'll happen. I have um, the button to make everything awesome. I also have a fart gun from somewhere. Um, I forget the movie. I'm, I can't, I can't remember the movie guys. What is that movie? Okay. So here, here, um, we'll start. That's my husband's. That's my husband's. <laughs> um, but I have, um, old books, color blocking, um, scrapbooking, um, memory makers books, more color blocking, layout blueprint. So these are older, but I still like them. So I keep them. Um, and then these, this is where like ribbons and things like that live in this little guy. It's normally color order, but it's a mess. So it does need to be resorted. Um, and here is kind of where office supplies are. Um, and apparently some trash. Um, so paper clips, I, um, a hole punch, all that kind of good stuff in there, envelopes, those kind of things. This is my extra adhesive. So this bad boy holds all. 
the adhesive. I won a glue dots um, giveaway at a retreat. My other X is in here and refills, my ATG refills, all of my Nuvo, um, what's left of my giant foam tape roll that lives there. Um, down here, this is where my Gemini plates are and my sewing kit. Um, this right here, um, these are vinyl and Cricut mats. And then we have more pins and just other things like that. Some notebooks, perler beads, extra ones of these little guys. They're, they all live in there. Um, and then down here, this is where I keep the sewing machine and a bag from Ranger. This is just another fun little um, corner. In case you guys didn't know, I like rocks. Um, in here, um, these are old Sizzix um, dies. This one right here, this is my kind of like mixed media and mini album place. Um, this is also where I have like marker pad coloring stuff. Um, any kind of collage or anything like that goes in here. Um, these are my active art journals. They kind of sit on top. This is my D23 um, magazines and uh, I guess member gifts. So I have been a member of D23 since it started. I am a charter member, woohoo. Um, so that is there. This next one, this has my gel, my gel plates on it, um, and then my Sizzix Sizzlets dies. And then I started this, I did, I do have to catch up and like do it, but this is like every, not anymore, but every die I own, I cut out and put in here and kind of themed so I could flip through if I needed something. I could just flip through and know that this is what they all looked like. So I do have that um, in here. Punches. This is a sticker machine. Um, not, not, not as much used punches are in here. Like my creative memory systems in here. Um, uh, corner rounders in here. Uh, leaf punches. So like the punches that I don't use regularly, they're not the ones that I go for. They're in here. Oh, that's a heavy one. Okay. This over here, these are dies and embossing folders. And I started a project where I have magnetic sheets. And it's a mess, like this is a mess. This is a project in itself. But again, these little plastic bins, love them. Uh, in here, more um, dies and such things. Um, alpha bars, I love this alphabet. I went through a phase where um, I cut out um, foam and made my own thickers with this alphabet because I love it so much. I haven't done it in a while. Um, my letter press is in there. Um, these are my punches that I reach for the most and also my paper crimper. Um, down here is my poor cuddle bug, which is, is I mean, it's, it's dead and I, I probably should just get rid of it. But there it is. And then I also have the big Fiskars one. And I keep the big Fiskars one, even though it's defunct, because I have this one huge die. You can't really tell, but it's, it's a heart. It's a heart. And it doesn't fit in any of my other die cut machines, but it fits in that big Fisker one. So I keep that bad boy. Um, and then, uh, up top here, <laughs> this is, this is my daughter's, her little metal things that she's, uh, built. I keep my 12 by 12 Misty just here, kind of slid under the TV. Then my, uh, photo printer. This is where I keep my water media mat. I actually keep the, the backside of the packaging because it'll stick on it. And then that just lives right there. Then in these drawers, so that doesn't go in there. So these are flocks and flakes 
and um, all of that kind of good stuff. Um, glue sticks, perfect pearls, um, distress glitter, that kind of stuff is in there. Then in this one, these are watercolors. So I have um, some shimmers. I have the tailored expressions, liquid watercolors. I have some koi, um, my palettes, all of the things in here. There's some Vicky Bootens. I have color burst. So they're just all in my Amy Tangerine one. They're just all in this one. Um, and here, this is paint brushes more paint brushes, blending foams, um, my little water cup, more water cups. And then this one is acrylic paints, so Dilutions. Um, what is this, Paper Artsy, uh, Dina Wakely, Liquitex, like that's all in here. And then um, let me maneuver some stuff and get over for the other side. Okay, so this is the top. Um, I, this is my microphone. Um, this is a Cinderella carriage that my friend Melly Art made for me. I do have some of the cards that friends have sent me um, right here. Um, this is where I keep my aqua pigments from Brutus Monroe. There's a whole bunch of them. They are in rainbow order. Um, this is not my end all be all solution. It's just where they are right now. These, this is just a thing of ribbon. I have shadow box dies in there. And then this is a album I made um, in 2007 for a scrapbooking uh, retreat. And then this is a Disney album that my friend MK made. So on this first one, this first box, um, this is where I keep my close to my heart inks. And on this little spinny guy, I also keep any time that I, this, I haven't figured out a good solution for this yet either. Um, but my close to my heart foam daubers just live up here. So I grab one. This is where also where my pink and main blender brushes live. Um, this one underneath of it. So this is my, this is my um, cut file cutting mat. I keep my fun foam from my friend Crystal here. This is where I keep um, stamping platforms. So my Misty and um, the Tim Holtz ones. In here, roller stamps, acrylic blocks, my stamp cleaner, um, a punch pad, ink refresher, my brayer, and then foam stamps are back there. Um, and then I'm going to take you back up to the top. So this is where I keep my mini inks. So these are in rainbow order. I got these from close to my heart. They are, um, they don't make these anymore. But this is how I keep all of my mini inks. I just really, really like them. And then um, if I ever have to travel, I will probably empty one of these bad boys out and just put some in there that I need. Um, this is a really old phone, but I love the case and I haven't done anything with it, so that just sits there. Um, these are embossing powders. So all of my Brutus Monroe embossing powders are in here. These are other embossing powders. Um, these are um, other inks, so Catherine Pooler, Electro Pop. Um, and then all of my Distress and um, oxides and regular inks are in this one. I keep my wood veneer um, and little cork pieces in this thing. And then I keep little embellishments like flare and that kind of thing in this guy. And then underneath this bad boy right here is where I keep these things. So I got this wood thing from Stampin' Storage and it didn't come with a base because it's made to go with their pull out trays. So I just took some wood glue and glued it to some, um, some cardboard. And now I have all of my Nouveau, my enamel accents, my stickles are in here. And I did decide to put my stickles in upside down. Most of these are almost gone, so they'll be, they'll be gone shortly. So I have those there. Then this one right here with this divided thing, this is where I keep foil um, and then 
kind of like vinyl things. Um, these are the mink holders. This is where I keep tissue paper. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot. Um, woo! Um, extra stickles and um, Nouveau that don't fit in that thing. Um, my parchment paper. These are just like extra little embellishments that I don't really have a place for yet, so I just put them there. Um, and then these um, right here, I have these, these craft mates containers. And when you open them, they're in rainbow order. So they have like eyelets and brads and buttons and sequins, any of that kind of thing. And they are all in rainbow order. So I just have those, sorry for the shaking and the mess. I just have those there. So I can kind of see what color is right there. Like googly eyes are right here. I can see that. Um, this is where I keep my smaller papers. So these are my six by six and um, like long thin papers. So, and then these are all of my Brutus Monroe are here first. Um, and then I've got like some tonic ones. And then they're, they're kind of in like theme. So like the getaway paper pad is all there. Um, there's some simple stories ones. And then the other ones, these are kind of in a color order. And then I just have these back here. Um, this is where the 6x8 and other 8x8 papers go. So they are just in here. And I can grab that real easily. As you can see, the cardboard is kind of wearing right here. So I grab this a lot. Um, this is my scraps. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, and this is where I keep... Um, like deco foil and um, electro pop, like enamel and flock and stuff like that. So that's where all this lives. And then there's a like mink stuff in there. So this is my scraps and I'm going to pull this out and show it to you. Okay. So I pulled out my scraps and I have this sorted. Um, now my scraps are big. Um, if you've watched my channel, you know that little scraps stress me out. Um, so my scraps are on the large side. So I have scraps in rainbow order. Like that's, that's orange. <laughs> um, so they are in rainbow order. And then we get to purple and then we have like the blacks and grays, browns, golds. Like I have a lot of gold in here. Um, whites. And then I have kind of like black and white, and then I have rainbows because that's how my mind works. So I sort my scraps how my mind works. Um, and then I have like fussy cutting flowers. And then I have specialty paper. And this is, this is just kind of a, a mess right now. There isn't any like rhyme or reason to it, um, but I have specialty paper. So I have like holographic paper, vellum, um, transparency, um, mirror cardstock, um, acetate, textured, glittered, all of that. Um, and then I got all of my tonic card stocks that or specialty papers that are absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So I have a bunch of those. Like, look at that. Um, and then some like especially gold. Then I have vellums and some of this vellum is really old. And then um, mulberry paper and then some specialty paper. This is photo paper, um, plastic, and then this is homemade paper with florals in it. So this, this bad boy is actually from the inside of an old Creative Memories uh, paper sorting box that you use as a consultant and you would take it to workshops and people would flip through and buy their papers, but it works great for me for scraps. Okay, now my scraps are back here and then I also have my unfun foam right here, which is underneath of the fun foam. Um, then down here I have um, my card socks. So these are in rainbow order and these are 12 by 12 sheets. I have them in rainbow order and then you get over here into um, creams, grays over here. And then these are my eight and a half by 11 card stocks and they're in rainbow order as well. I also have my large rub-ons here. And then this 
um, little corner right here. These are all my wood mount stamps. I know this is really awkward, guys. These are all my wood mount stamps. This is just a little tote bag, and then these are um, embellishments. So I have like staples in here, wood charms, um, metal tags, acrylic pieces, just like plain acrylic pieces. So those all live right there. And then I have this big old plug thing that goes here so that I can have everything plugged in. Now this is, I call this my glitter glaze cart um, because this entire top is full of um, various glitter glazes, glitter pastes, glitter gels, you name it, that's what the top is. This second one has um, mists and sprays and also my Liquitex acrylic inks. So like Glimmer Mists, um, Mica Mists, Heidi Swap, Brutus Monroe Surface Spray, Dilutions, like you name it and it is in here in this one. And then down at the bottom, um, these are my Velveteen Glazes for, and Chroma Glazes from Brutus Monroe. And then I have my neon watercolors down there because they don't fit in my thing that I'm storing them in right now, which is that guy up there, which I told you was not a permanent solution. So I've got to figure that out. Um, now I have two more carts to show you in my desk and we'll be done. So this, this is a cart um, that I have in it. Oh, see, I don't even have my stuff put away. Um, it does have a couple things on the side, so my um, fuse tool sits here. Oh, there's where my other stamp chamois went. Um, my heat gun lives there. This is where water brushes uh, live. I have my palettes, my one, my one picket fence brush, and some Muji pens here. Um, then I have like my glimmer pens, all my black pens my Vicky Booten watercolors, my watercolor color pencils, um, colored pens, um, like black, white, and brown pens, um, Muji pens. And then I have paint brushes here. Um, I have my Crocodile and my two staplers, my two ATGs here, my two water bottles, um, my one Xyron X, and then a little cutting board, a notebook, my Tim Holtz stamps, a gift certificate that I still have to use. Um, then I have like a couple little paper pads here. These really old um, matte stacks from Die Cuts with a View. This is my chamois and I just keep it here. I want to get a little um, hook and hook it here so it's not like this, but I need to get that. Um, and then this is where I keep my current Spiegel Mom scraps sequins. So June's, these are June sequins right here. Um, I used to have them in a little container, um, but I ran out of room because I kept adding things to this cart. Um, down here, these are my Jane Davenport uh, mixed media crayons. This is embellishment mousse, whether it's expanding or not. Um, over here, chroma glazes, texture pastes, um, all that kind of good stuff. The couple gelatos that I own, the Vicky Booten powders to color your texture paste, um, hyper pigments to color your texture paste from Brutus Monroe. Um, and then at the bottom down here, um, this is my alcohol inks and then the back there has the alcohol ink blending tools and more little felts. Um, and then this has lots of texture pastes and um, gessos and things like that. And then I keep my Swiffer handy right here because you guys know I Swiffer the crap out of things when I um, emboss. And then this is how I keep my um, distress ink pads or, or foam squares. So they're in this... Um, roll up thing um, from Design Creative Bling. I got mine, I won it at Junkie Fest uh, 2018, but she does sell them. I'm, I'm not affiliated, um, but I just love them. So that is that cart. And that one kind of just lives off to the side. Now I'm actually sitting in my desk or my table. It's actually our old dining room table. Um, in here, these are my very most used punches. They're like basic shapes, my Mickey head and a scalloped. 
Then I have the little ones over here. Um, there's also uh, stuff in there that shouldn't be in there, um, but like hearts and stars and that kind of thing. Um, down here under my desk, this is a bean bag, and I keep it under there to prop my feet up um, because my feet do swell. Um, I also have a full-size trash can under here, and this has been amazing. Um, I used to just have this little guy, this really old Making Memories guy, um, but it fills up way too fast, and I was tired of walking out all the time, so I have that guy right there. Um, while we're under my desk, um, this is a filing cabinet. Um, this is where I keep my trimmers. And then in the bottom one, this is where I keep die cuts and ephemera. So these are sorted um, kind of by manufacturer and kind of by how they make me feel. So like this is some My Mind's Eye and some uh, fancy pants, different different ones in there because it's how they make me feel. Um, some of them, as you can see, hasn't made it out yet. Um, then I have like my florals are all in one. So these are all just various um, embellishments and die cuts uh, that I just keep right here. They're really easy to grab a hold of. Um, and then we have my desk. So I have my tripod and my lights, and they're not exactly set up correctly because I've been moving them around. Um, but let me show you. So over on my left, I always have my um, calendar and I always have my notebook, which has my ideas in it. And I'm running out, so I gotta get a new notebook going, but it has my ideas, what I need to complete in it. So that's always to my left. Um, this is my Brutus Monroe um, little bin that I keep. So I am on the Brutus Monroe design team, so I do keep some Brutus Monroe um, basics like right, right by my side. Um, and then I just got the inspiration kit uh, in the mail, so I need to film that. So that's right here off to the side as well. Um, my, my paper towels live here. I usually have an iced tea. Um, this uh, rolly thing I got from... Harbor Freight a while ago, um, and then I'll just take you through what I keep in it. So trimmer blades and um, some twines, photo corners. This is um, foam squares adhesive, um, cork and fabric, um, my homemade enamel dots that I made years and years and years ago, um, some photo mat wipes, a little bit of burlap ribbon. I also have my Share Joy um, bracelet from Tailored Expressions and my Love My Tribe bracelet that I um, gave to everyone who was at the Love My Tribe um, retreat. And then here I have fascinators because um, I just love them. I also have um, my um, white and black ink and two uh, daubers. I have my embossing ink and my white and black embossing powder. And then down here, um, I have washi. So I have like colored washi, colored washi, yellow and orange, black and white, kind of grayish and brown. And then like all the metallics, um, reds and pinks, and then purples and blues and greens, and then back to the metallics. So that is there. Um, then I have this little thing that sits in front of me. Um, and then as you can see, I actually use my tripod as a place holder for things. Um, and then I have this little, um, this little bowl. It's actually a magnet bowl. So the metal stuff sticks in there. And then I have little bits of things just in here that I want to use. Um, I have some frames and little things. Um, these old making memories setting mats, um, which I do pull out a lot to do little cuttings with. I have my sequin bowl. Um, my Nuvo and my Nuvo on deck because this one is almost gone. Um, my purple tape, my um, washi tape that I use to um, back my pages with. Um, I have these little Paige Evans squares because I'm trying to get them used up. And then I have the instacks of me and Paige Evans at Creativation just because I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, I have a, a foam and a stitching template in here. Um, this is a stain pen. I have my stamp cleaner in here. I have some um, masking fluid. 
Um, I have some crystal glaze and then an, um, an anti-static powder tool. I also have an anti-static powder bag that lives right here. Um, and then I keep a dot runner here as well. Then I have my little making memories guy right there where I put the, the tiny little things. Then I have this um, little totally Tiffany storage thing. Um, it's got like tiny scissors, the, um, the thing that I use to cut off um, metal dies, the little pliers, um, uh, an eraser, an adhesive eraser, my favorite eraser in the whole world. Um, then I have my Muji pens and pens here, um, my crystal katana, um, jewel pickers, not like craft knives, scissors. There's some liquid glues over here. Um, just a bunch of different scissors and then like rulers and stuff like that are right there. Um, and then the other side of the desk, uh, the big shot is mine. Um, but the other side is where Lana um, does her coloring. So guys, I think, oh, I missed a, I missed a cart. I missed a cart. So over on this side, I have this cart. Now this cart, um, this is where I keep enamel dots. Um, this is where I keep labels. And then doilies are in the back. These are word stickers and usually they're, they're sorted in size order so I can flip through. But like I said, when I was talking about those stickers over here, I do this too. I go through these every so often because, you know, they get out of order. Um, this is where my Love From Lizzie peel-offs are. And then I have some cork and some acetate things back here. Um, and then some chipboard. And then this is where I keep all of my Scrap and Happy Studio epoxy flares and um, brads and things like that. Because I just, I just love these guys. Oops. See? That should be in there, not the brads. Um, and then this second one down here, I have uh, rub-ons. Yes, I still have Making Memories rub-ons. Um, I have blingy things and sequiny things right here. Um, back here in this crown royal bag are my creative memories cutting blades. I have a bag of chipboard shapes. This is where my tags, library cards, and pockets live. And then I have these two American Crafts things still. Shapes. Do you guys remember when American Crafts used to put those out? Um, and then I have like the longer rhinestones and things. I have a sheet of blingy rhinestones. This is where I keep, um, sorry for the arm, sequins and stuff like that in here. Um, and then in this one, this is where I keep the rhinestones. And they're just in these little creative memories sorter things. We'll straighten that up later. Um, and then underneath here, um, these are... Ooh, sorry for the fingers. These are my flowers and they are sorted by color. Um, and then these are all my Spiegel Mom scraps sequins that I have um, under here. More flowers back there. And then these are um, letters that I just can't seem to part with yet. I should probably challenge myself to use some of these. So those I just can't seem to part with. Um, and then my Spiegel Mom scrap sequins uh, live on top of them. I'll put that off to the side. And then last thing. So this, this bad boy right here, um, that lives down here on the left hand side. Um, I have a lot of travel things that I just keep in one of these little, uh, plastic pocket things. Um, I have a layout in progress. Um, I have a layout that I want to do. Like I definitely want to use this paper and that big rhinestone pumpkin. And then a couple other little, like page protectory and sorter things. And what I do with this is while I'm creating, um, instead of putting everything away, it kind of lands in this little guy. Um, and then I'll clean up and put everything away in that, except for these couple little things that just seem to keep on living there. 
So guys, that was my room. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If I didn't go into detail, if I went into too much detail, um, or if you wanna see something, let me know, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.